Yo, what is up with it? It's Big Walt. Welcome back to the channel, man. Dreams to action. How y'all doing? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today was big back work, as I like to call it. Big back work. That work that'll make your back wide as crap. I'm talking about your back be so wide from doing this constantly that it get hard for you to walk through the doorway sometimes. My back ain't that big yet, but it's going to get there. I want my back to be that big, so that's why I'm doing this, and that's why I'm trying to show y'all this, so y'all can have big, wide backs as well, and you can look like a tortoise, a, a turtle, a big turtle. You know how turtles got shells in this humpback? You're going to look like a real turtle from behind, because let me tell you something. I'm going to make sure that I get the big back workout on the channel, so y'all can look at the big back workout. You can do what I do, and keep doing it. And get strong and get your back big. So that's what happened today. The big back workout is what I like to call it. Some deadlifts and a series of rows. Heavy. Make sure they be heavy. Go for sets of as many reps as you can get with a heavy weight. Not too heavy, but some that you can get at least five to seven reps with. You know, like I said, we want turtle shell backs. I'm talking about the back going to look nasty is going to be so big. I'm talking about big nasty back. Big wide nasty back. I'm talking about back be so big, man, if you hit it with a back, the battle break. That kind of back. Man, I started out with them deadlifts, though. Those was bittersweet, man. Seriously, bittersweet. Today, felt like I was hitting max sets once I started working up, man. I was only able to do 545 for a rip. And I was able to do 495 for two. Normally, I can do 495 at least six to seven reps a set. And 545 at least three to four reps a set, depending on the day. But today just wasn't that day, so I just had to take what I can get. But I also had a good time throwing around some weight on rolls after. So make sure y'all watching this workout, man. Make sure y'all pay attention. Because this is the workout that will get you strong and it will build those muscles, those back muscles. I didn't get to everything today. I will eventually throw some more back exercises in a video soon. But I got to touch on everything slowly so y'all can catch on to it. But man, enough talking. Let's get into the back workout, man. The workout off the chisane. No cap, man, for real. Let's get into it.
workout, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Man, my back is on fire. I had to go and grab my massage gun, man. Let me tell y'all something. Invest in one of these joints. Because if you like me and you take working out serious, or you do a job where your body gets sore, this right here will knock 90% of that soreness out. I promise you, man, my lower back is screaming right now. And once I finish talking to y'all, I'm finna use it, I promise you. But going back into the back workout, you guys, I feel like back is probably one of the muscle groups that you really have to be consistent with. Like, you have to be consistent with everything, whether you're trying to be your abs, whether you're trying to get strong, whether you're trying to lose weight. Everything requires consistency. But... In my opinion, building a big back really takes consistency because it's not all about the strength. It's not about trying to roll 315 and 405. It's not about stacking six plates on the roll machine and rolling. It's not about that. It's about your consistency and reps. How often do you work on your back? You know. It's not about the strength, like I said, because the strength just make you stronger. When you hit up reps, when you do things that's going to make the muscle pump up full of blood, that's really where you get the maximum results. And that's with everything that you'll ever do with working out, whether you're doing legs, whether you're doing arms, shoulders, back, abs, everything you do, just know. In order to build the muscle, you have to do reps. Whoever do the most reps is going to be the most jacked person that you ever seen. If you got two amateur bodybuilders, for example, and one of them do five sets of 15 and the other one do seven sets of 20, who you think going to look the best? The one who do seven sets of 20 is pumping up his muscles the most. He's tearing his body down at an intense level. And that's really what it's all about. And that's how I think when it comes to building a bigger back, you have to do heavy movements to kind of help thicken that muscle. And you have to do a lot of reps to kind of tear that muscle down and really allow that muscle to be worked. Because that's really where you get your maximum results. You have to do heavy work when you're doing back. And you have to do a lot of reps. Today, I did a lot of heavy work. Because I don't do a lot of heavy rows on, on back often. You know, I'm constantly doing a lot of reps. You know, lat pull downs. I'm focusing on a pump. So, I might go about three or four sets till failure. And till failure for me might be like about a good 45 to 55 reps, slow control, time of detention type stuff. And once you throw all that in the pot and you mix it together, that's kind of the formula to building a big back. You know, doing pull-ups, which I'm kind of not that good at doing yet because I got to get my muscular endurance together for that. My muscular endurance ain't as bad as it used to be, but it's not the best. My muscular strength, is there and it's getting better but i gotta better my endurance that's why y'all see me do a lot of reps with heavier weights so i can become accustomed to doing a lot of more reps with heavier weight and i knock off weight and i go down and i do drop sets and i increase my rip range as i drop just so i can kind of pump the blood into the muscle some more and Really, that's where I'm at right now on my muscular endurance type stuff. I kind of want to get my endurance better than what it is. And muscular endurance ties into muscular strength, you know, because muscular endurance, volume work, that's, that's kind of the same thing when you think about it, man. So really, the goal is to push your body to the max. And really, if you stay consistent with it, man, and you hitting up 
all your muscle groups at least two to three times per week, consistency, high intense workouts, you're going to be good. You know, a lot of people like to isolate muscles. And that's fine. But really, I think one of the best splits to have is an upper and lower split. Because at the end of the day, when you do upper body, you know, you got your chest, you got your abs, you got your biceps, you got your triceps, you got your delts, the front delt, the side delt, the rear delt, you got your lats, the traps, all that stuff. All that ties in together. So if you're doing upper, then that means everything that you do ties in together. So if you do push-ups, you working your triceps and chest. Bench press, whether you're doing decline, regular, or incline, triceps and chest. Shoulders, triceps, shoulders. Like, it's compound exercises that you can do, man. They're all tied to each other. Bicep curls, man. Lat pull down, seated row. All that stuff works the same muscle. So, I kind of think of it as there's no excuse why you shouldn't hit up your whole entire upper body on the upper day and on the lower day, hit up your whole entire lower body. Those are really the best splits. Now, it's cool to go in there and focus on individual muscles because we all have leg and body parts. But my best advice to you guys is do not get in the habit of going in the gym doing just a little at a time. Try to get some of everything again on your training splits, man. And this is the end of the video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to come to y'all with the best fitness tips to get y'all looking good and to get y'all in shape so y'all can live healthy, man. We are still going up and up. I appreciate the support. It really means a lot to me. Y'all keep subscribing. Keep watching my videos. Keep smashing the like button. Keep commenting. Make sure y'all... Sharing this channel with everybody. Share with everybody that you know, man. Y'all have a good one. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Don't think to yourself that you can't do something when you can do it. Can is a bad word. Remember that, man. Y'all keep your head up. All that. Stay positive. Guys, one more thing before I end this video. Just to give y'all something to have on your mind when you look at this video today. In the short, short period of time that I've been doing YouTube, literally just a few months, I cannot count the number of times that I wanted to give up on doing this from then up until now. Just because things was getting hard when it got to the nitty gritty. And when I say the nitty gritty, I mean getting down to business. When it came to learning how to edit and all that stuff, it was hard, man. It was stressful. I wanted to give up. But I kept myself in line. I held myself to learning. I don't know everything there is to know about editing. Obviously, as you can see, my videos aren't the best at all. But I work with what I can, and I'm learning as time goes on. And really, all I'm saying is, if it's something that you truly want to be great at, you're going to hold yourself to it. Even if your mind tell you that it's too stressful or it's too hard. Even if somebody tell you that you can't do it. Even if somebody being negative to you about it, all in your face, telling you that you'll never be this, never be that. Even when the negativity come your way, you still going to find a way to hold yourself accountable for what you got to do. I just wanted to throw that little piece of motivation in there for y'all. Not too long of a talk just to give y'all something to have on your mind and to think about for you to get up and hold yourself accountable and hold yourself true to what you say you want to do and accomplish what you have to accomplish. I done did enough talking, man. Y'all have a good one.